Fish it. Fish it. Fish it. He's fishing it. Hey guys, back at it again, Fish in Middle Tennessee. I'm gonna paint some baits here, so I'm gonna let y'all follow along while I do these. I've got a few different ones here. I'm gonna, I've already got them ready to go. I did the opaque white and then I did the pearlescent white over the top. There's a jerk bait there. We're gonna do a couple of those. We're going to do Couple big fat square bills. And we're gonna do some six to eight inch die or six to eight foot divers there. Eight inch, eight feet diving crank baits here. So let me show you what colors we're gonna be hitting. We are going to do this fluorescent yellow as the main color for the body we're going to do a little bit of this wicked golden yellow on the belly and then for the back I've got this sparklescent blue nightmare blue we're gonna lay that right on the back and a little bit on the shoulders This is the first time I've used these fluorescence paints, so we're gonna see how it goes. I know I'm gonna have to do a couple coats and let them dry, or hit them with the hair dryer and let them dry after that. All right, here we go, we got some coming out. I'm gonna leave the belly part a little bit white through here that way when I hit the orange on it will be all right it won't mess with the color at all so go ahead and lay down some of the fluorescent it's gonna go really light on it for the first coat right down the body line up the shoulders to the top hit the face Move on to that uh, other crankbait here. Down the side, the shoulders, down the back. Just laying it on light. Then I'll come back through with a second coat. Do the uh, jerk bait here. His face. Put on the back there. Down the shoulders. Right down the body line. I'm gonna do six total baits, so I'm not gonna make y'all sit through all this, but I'll do the rest of them and then I'll come back and we'll hit the next color. So in between coats, you can see it's kind of got a little shine to it there. <clears throat> That's some wet paint. So what we wanna do is we wanna heat set it with the dryer, the hair dryer, and get that all dried up before we put any more layers of paint on it.
But now it's nice and dry. No more sticky shininess. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is hit the belly a little bit right below the neck, the jaw there and the belly with this, uh, this wicked gold yellow. I'm gonna put that right at the base, just a little bit. All right, so I'm just, I don't wanna go up the tail. I just wanna go just on the throat there a little bit, right at the belly and the throat. Just for a little extra pop. like that. I may come back with another hit after it dries just to see if I can darken it up a little bit. But I kind of like that right there. So on to the next one. All right now that I have the orange on the throat there I'm gonna lay down some of this sparklescent nightmare blue on the back and the shoulders a little bit I can't decide if I want to do a scale pattern over the top of the chartreuse and then darken the back or just do a dark back Mm hmm maybe I'll do one with the scale and see how it works that's what we'll do I'll do one because I got six baits here if I don't like it I'll just move on to the next one all right let's do the square bill here do bigger scale pattern All right, there we go. Now, let's get some of this blue in the gun and see how it looks. I've used this color before and it's more purple than it is blue, but I think it's gonna look good with this uh, fluorescent yellow, more of a chartreuse color. It's a little thick, so I'm going to have to reduce it down a little bit. Just do that right there in the gun, though. Little 4012. I put about five drops of the blue in there. I'll put one drop of the reducer in there. Mix it in. Thin it out just a little bit. It's still pretty thick. I might have to put two drops of reducer in there. I don't really like 
spray in really thick paints. I keep my airbrush right around 40 PSI, 35, 40 PSI, which is a, probably a little high for thinner paints, but I don't really like blowing these thick paints through really well. All right, now let's try it out. I'll start from the nose, work my way back. Right down the back here. I don't want to go all the way down the shoulder until I see how this scale pattern is going to look. I'm just over spraying them a little bit. Really light. I think I'm going to like it though, so we'll see. Down a little more on this side. Right here. All right, let me hit it with the hair dryer real quick, and then we'll pull these scales off and see how it looks. I need to get a power strip over here. I keep having to unplug and plug things back in. All right. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, that's pretty crazy. Kind of like it. We're going to darken up the back just to get that pattern out of the back there. I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. Let's throw some down on the back there and then check it out from there. All right. We're going to darken that back up so we don't see those lines on the back, just this scale pattern on the side here. And then I'll go around the eyes and the face and gill plate a little bit. I'm gonna start off the bait on the bill here so I don't splatter everything. Do the mouth here a little bit, darken that up. Around the eyes. A little bit on the gill plate there. Kind of like it. A little bit of scales, not too crazy. Just on the sides a little bit. Dark on the top. I think that's going to look really good. All right, so I'll hit the rest of these while I got the camera off, and then I'll come back. We'll do the eyes. Um, we'll do a shad dot on the side. You know what? I'm not going to do a shad dot. I may put some red behind the gill plate there.
We'll come back. We'll put some red behind the gill plate. And that's it. I don't think I'm going to do a shad dot. I think it looks pretty good. All right. All right, so I'm just going to do some silver eyes on these square bills. And then the other ones will take some other shapes. So, as always, a little dab of super glue right there. My son stuck his fingers to the eyeballs last time he did this. So take our little X-Acto knife, pop it up off there without poking herself in the finger. And we're gonna put it right there. Try not to super glue our fingers to it. Put it in place. Go on to the next side. I usually use the little helping hands tools doing these. All right, we're gonna dip these bad boys, let them dry, and then throw some hook on them in about 24 hours. So here we go. Good. Put that blue in it. Gonna pop. A little bubble in that one. <laughs> 